Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a sun lounger and if you join me on Patreon you can download this help sheet too. But let's not talk about it, let's do it. So we're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And let's start by drawing a parallelogram and this is going to be the bit that your body actually lies on. And then we want the backrest section, which will go up like that. And that again is a parallelogram. So that's not quite parallel, is it? So we want that more like that. And this is going to be the actual sort of canvas bit that you sit on. And so let's bring a leg forward like that. It's gonna curl around. And this is gonna to need to extend back. So this is a, um, a, a metal tube so we want this to be pretty equal all the way around. Um, same thickness, that's gonna be coming down like that. And we'll have a little plastic ends on the end as well. Now this canvas bit is actually gonna sort of come down to about there. So we're gonna echo that curve down there. The actual, the actual tube part of it there is gonna be partly hidden by the canvas section there and we're going to have some kind of a tube bit coming up there as well now let's have a little curve at the top just to give it a bit of a style like that but you're not going to see it all and again that will be sort of coming around the top there and the canvas there is kind of folded around this tube which will have a little bolt there holding the whole thing on and then let's have here we'll draw a little sort of semicircle. It's not it's, well, it's not quite a semicircle, but anyway, and then that will make a kind of a pillow that's attached on the top there. And then we need a little thing that's gonna stick up there and there's gonna be parallel to this, which is not at the moment. We need to have a little stick going across. And then here we're gonna have a ratchet kind of thing coming down there which will be hooked around there so we can get that kind of shape something like that which will be going there holding the whole thing up to get regular drawing hints tips and inspiration click subscribe ring the bell and select all notifications so now we can ink this in and i'm going to start with that pillow on the top we'll go straight across and around like that and back and up and then we've got these kind of stitching bits on each sort of end like that too uh, let's bring that down to there we're going to have a slight curve going across the, the base there and then this will come up and around to there and that will come across to there and then we'll have a little bit sticking out there and a little bit sticking out there probably a plastic cap as well uh, and maybe some stitching coming down there and then I'm going to draw this tube so let's bring that up into a curve try and keep that going nice and straight across there I'm going to change my body angle to come around like that and then we want that kind of plastic tube on the bottom. And we want to try and keep this all equidistant and sort of parallel so that we get the same thickness of the tube, a little plastic bit on the bottom. And then we can draw straight across like that, curve up like that. And then this tube will curve in up to there put a the little plastic cap on the bottom it's a foot really isn't it um, and then this is going to be partly hidden so it's going to be a thinner line but keep it nice and equidistant and parallel or whatever the word we're after like that and then we want that uh, kind of little post up there that will go straight up there and then we want this kind of wobbly thing like that which is going to be hooking into this piece that goes across behind like that and somewhere in here you're going to get the 
the back foot is probably going to be mm, coming down something like that so you'll see a little bit kind of like that with the plastic foot on the bottom as well and here I'm going to do a very very thin line across there dotted kind of line which is sort of stitching the canvas has a, a, a thin metal rod going through it which is attached oh probably need some little <laughs> attachment things going through like that screws or bolts that's probably the word we're looking for then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines <clears throat> and we'll probably want some serious shadow underneath there and we can then turn that into little dots going down there we might have some dots there and just some dots just to give a bit of feeling of it being curved we can maybe do that there and I think we want to have that stitching going up there as well and the stitching going up there as well but I'm just going to draw two parallel lines going across like that and I'm going to draw these little curves just to give that sort of feeling of shape and also a couple of stitches around there and I think we could maybe even have some shading underneath there and then if we put some shading coming off the legs like that then that will help to put it on the floor by the swimming pool and I think I'm going to just add some extra little bits of shading across there as well so let's just clean it up and give it some colour. There you go, how to draw a sun lounger. Now click down here and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Renner Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now, bye bye.